So today we're going to be making duo colored biker shorts from t-shirts. So the materials that you will need is scissors, a marking tool, pins, sewing machine, two t-shirts for this specific design, and a waist elastic. So you're going to start with your t-shirt and you're going to flip it inside out and lay it flat onto your surface. Then you're gonna grab your biker shorts, the one that fits the best, your favorite pair, and you're gonna use this as your pattern. So you're gonna grab it, and you're gonna match it seam to seam, and this is super important because the crotch will be longer in the back than it is in the front. So you wanna make sure that you're matching everything up nicely. So I'm just pinning this to make sure that it stays in place and doesn't move. I'm also bringing it down to the bottom of the t-shirt to have that clean look. And once I'm happy with everything, I'm going to trace around the edge, leaving about an inch on the outside and about two to three inches on the top, depending on the size of your elastic. So once that's all done, you're going to mark that this is the front or back because you don't want to mix up your pieces. And then you're just going to repeat the opposite side. So each t-shirt should have one front and one back piece. And then once you're happy with everything, you're going to repeat on your second color. So now that I have all four pieces, I'm going to take the two back pieces to start, or two of the same pieces, whichever, and I'm going to match them up, match up all the lines. Again, take your time. Once you're happy, pin to keep everything in place. And then you're going to just trim off any extra access just to make sure that everything is the same. And then when you're done, you're going to bring it over to your sewing machine and we're going to sew our first piece together. So here I'm sewing the middle seam. So I'm going to sew all the way down the middle. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and end. And when you're done, it'll look like this. And then you're gonna take both pieces and you're gonna sew them together. So before you do that, you're gonna pin everything together. And this is the only instance where you're not trying to match everything up because it should be different. You're going to actually bring the seams to touch each other, specifically in the crotch area. So take your time once again. This is to ensure that there's no weird bunching in the front or back. You know, everything lays flat and is clean. So take your time. Once you're happy with that, you're going to go ahead and do the same on the outside. Of both sides leaving the top open and the leg holes open so once everything's pinned together you're going to go ahead and sew all your pieces together you can start either with the crotch or you can start with the sides there's no order that is 
is best. So here I'm doing the sides first. Awesome. So once you've sewn all of your pieces together, you're going to take your waistband and you are going to fold it. You're going to put it on the top and then fold your fabric over it, leaving little to no space. And this will stop it from flipping in the wash and things like that. So you're going to pin everything once you're happy. As you can see, it's like less than half an inch. And again, sew as close as possible without sewing on the elastic. So again, you're going to take your time with this. So a part that I missed um, was that I did sew the elastic together to make it a full piece. And then I kind of just put it in there. biker shorts and the amazing thing about this is that you can use this exact same method to create your own pair of shorts your own jeans your own dress by just taking a piece of clothing that you already love so much and just using it as your pattern to make something new i hope you guys enjoyed